The goal of the power dialer is to get the most bang for your buck as humanly possible. Look, you can automate so many things inside of Go High Level. I'm talking everything from SMS campaigns to automatic voicemails, automatic follow-up campaigns, to even automatic social media follow-up with the leads that you call. And even though all of this is possible, there's so many people that are doing this completely wrong. I'm talking people go to Google Maps and they try to reach out to a business owner. They cold call him. They cold call the second one, the third one. Maybe some people say, hey, call me back a different day. Call me back tomorrow. Or maybe they say they're not even interested in their services in the first place. And then when the second day comes, they don't know who to call. They don't know who they've reached out to. They have no idea how to pick up exactly where they left off. If you're going to put in hours of work into this, you might as well have a system that automates everything for you. I'm talking automatically sends a voicemail after the first call, second call, third call, and you have it all structured and laid out. In fact, this exact automation and workflow that I'm going to show you took Henry, one of my affiliates and community member from zero to over $12,000 per month. So I just know that this works. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you what happens when they get entered into the power dialer and all the different automations that we have. Then I'm gonna show you what happens if they don't answer and how we follow up with them and send them multiple different text messages and voicemails based on the number of the calls that we've made. Then I'm gonna show you the exact pipeline that we use to track everything and how that triggers different automations. Then I'm gonna show you how you can actually enter this into a spreadsheet so you know exactly how many calls you're doing and exactly how many calls you need to do to get clients. And then finally, I'm even gonna show you how you can automatically follow up with them on different channels. It's called multi-channel approach. You could automatically comment on their Instagram, automatically follow them, like their stuff, and mention to them, hey, I just called you, give me a call back. And you can do this on multiple social media platforms. So let's dive into the power dialer first. The first thing we wanna do is add them to the cold call campaign right here. This is the pipeline stage. And then what we do is we assign it to a user. If you have any salespeople, this is where you can assign it to that person. We also wanna add the tag power dialer so we know that we called them. We also add in a note section so that if someone answers you on the phone, you have quick questions that you can answer right in the notes section on that specific contact. So that way, when you do your sales call, you have things that you can go off of. Those are questions that we use in our industry, but of course, you can change that to fit you. Then we have the manual call. And then from there, it moves them into call number one. And as you can see here, we then ask, did they book a call from that initial call? If the answer is yes, then we remove them from this workflow altogether. You can see right here, it says remove from workflow. If the answer is no, then we move them into this campaign. And then it asks, what is the outcome? So you can mark this any way that you want. If you wanna follow up, maybe they're busy, maybe whatever happens, they just can't talk to you. So we add a task to call them back later and also you can update the opportunity and the stage if it's a bad number then it just simply adds that tag not interested and then interested and moves them to different pipelines and different categories based on their interest level and then still a day later if nothing happens we put them into the campaign once again if they do book a call we remove them from this workflow because we don't want to keep calling them since they already booked a sales call, they showed some interest. But from here, we do the same thing. We add them as a manual call, so that way we remember to call them again. We update the opportunities, meaning we update the pipeline, and then we update cold call number two. And then from there, it's essentially the same workflow that we just reviewed, except we do it a couple times after the multiple calls that we do. What we've seen is that three calls should be enough. So we do this three times, and then we try to gauge the results off of that. And that's how this workflow functions. The next one that we wanna look into is the no answer follow-up campaigns. So let's say you call someone, they don't answer. That doesn't mean that they're not interested. And most people never call these people back. But at the end of the day, you're talking to business owners. These people might be out on a project. They might be busy. They might have staff meetings. You have no idea what they have going on. So you want to make sure that you automatically call them again, right? Call number one. This is what it is. If they don't answer, we wait a minute and we text them and we drop them a voicemail. Again, you record this one time and then you automatically send it to your prospects. Then we wait a day. Did they reply? Yes, no. And then if they do reply, 
What is the intent? Is it positive? Is it negative? Is there no intent? And then we can attach tags and tasks based off of how their reply was. And then we can move them in the pipeline according to that. This will give you an amazing bird's eye view of where everyone is and still automates a lot, right? Then we have cold call number two. They still don't reply, but we call them a second time. Then we have a second voicemail. This voicemail is talking about their ROI. So maybe the first one is very generic. We just say, hey, check your text messages, right? We text them and that's the voicemail we leave. This one, we talk about return on investment. So it's a little bit more of a pitch than the first one. And again, the same thing happens. Did they reply? What is the reply intent? From there, we go into call number three. We wait one minute. We text them a third time and leave them a third voicemail. Did they reply? If they did, what did they say? Also, real quick, if you want our client getting scripts, our client getting strategies, our outreach, DMs, literally everything A to Z, then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description. If you want all of our snapshots imported into your account, I'm providing all of that. It's completely free. If you don't have a high level account, then you can sign up for a free 30 day trial down below and I will give you access to everything, sales call recordings, additional services that you can actually offer, how to sell those services and how to charge high ticket. Everything is in there. So let's dive back into the video. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking this is so complicated. How in the world am I going to set all of this up? Look, honestly, it's not that bad. The thing is, all you have to do is set this up one time. If you're going to dedicate one hour, two hours of cold calling, of trying to get clients, you might as well get the maximum return on investment of your time. This is the definition of working smart and hard at the same time. Now, look, you don't need all these different workflows and automations if you don't want to. If you just want to build something simple like this, and again, I'm going to show you how to enter contacts into all of this in a second. But even if you just have it here, manual actions and then follow up, and if they don't answer, you just send them one voicemail, one text, then that's already ahead of 80 or 90% of people because they don't do that, right? Sometimes they don't leave any voicemails or to each person, they sit there leaving a custom voicemail. This is not the smartest way to do it. And by the way, I also suggest that you do track everything down to the T so that you know exactly how many cold calls you're doing per week, but also you know exactly how many cold calls you are doing per day and then how many of those you're actually pitching, how many intro calls you're doing, how many demo calls you're doing, how many calls you completed, how many closes you have and how many cash you collected. The best way that I have seen to do this is to turn this into a game, is to make this fun. If you have an accountability partner, you have someone else that's doing this with you because it works. It's cool to jump on a call once a day or once a week with someone that is in the trenches with you and just share your experience. This will show you where you are lacking. Are you doing cold calls, but you're not pitching anyone? That could mean your lead list is absolutely terrible. And I have another video about how to get proper leads you can check out after this one. Maybe you're doing enough calls, you're talking to people, but you are not booking enough demos. You're not booking enough intros. Then that means you have to improve your script. You have to improve what you're say, your tonality, everything else. And maybe you're getting enough demos booked, but you're not closing anyone. So then you have a different issue. And by having a spreadsheet like this, you are able to properly track everything and really fine tune where you need help. All right, so let's say that you have a lead list. First thing you wanna do is import it into here. You're gonna press this button and you're gonna import the lead list to your contacts. From there, you want to select all of them, right? Everything that you have, you wanna select it. I have a couple of different smart lists right here. So new leads are gonna be leads that you just imported that you have not reached out to. Active leads are leads that you have talked to and they're already in your pipeline. They're already being nurtured. Then we have remove not interested. People that tell you they're not interested, don't call back, whatever, you wanna add them into here. And then for today's leads, that's just for you to track how many you reached out to today. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to fill out that sheet. Once you have this in here, you are going to add it to a campaign to your workflow. So let's go ahead and do that. You would hit proceed and then you would pick the exact workflow that you set up with the power dialer. So for me, it's gonna be this one right here. From here, you can just press add all at once. For the action, I like to put in the date the niche or really any relevant details that's around this list that you just imported. So here's my example, August roofing import. From there, you're gonna hit add the campaign workflow. And then it might take a second to import it. Then you're gonna hit okay. After you do that, you're gonna go over to conversations and click manual actions right here at the top. Now, as you can see, 
all of the contacts are in here and we have them in the correct workflow and campaign. It gives you the day that they were added and the type is call. So all you have to do from here is just click let's start. Now, as soon as you do that, as you see, it opens up the contact right here and it even says cold call outcome, cold call number. This one gets automatically filled with us so you don't have to do it. Okay, so it's calling right now. I'm gonna end that cold call. And from there, it says, how did the call go? No answer, voicemail complete. So we always press complete. That's the way that we have the automation set up. And so now what you can do is you can see, it says next lead up top here at the top right. And if you wanna pause it for whatever reason, you can hit that pause button like I just did. And you can take notes or you can use the bathroom if you need to, just make sure that you don't procrastinate. It's very easy to sit down right now and say, oh, I already did 10 calls. Let me scroll Instagram. Don't do that. Do not waste your time. Cold call outcome right here. You can also put in exactly what happened. Interested, not interested. Wrong number, follow up week one. And this allows you to tag your leads properly. Let's just say this prospect was not interested. Okay, boom, I would hit save right here. Now we are all set. So now let's go ahead and click next lead. And as you see, it automatically refreshes and it gives me the next lead. And there it is at the top. You probably can't hear it, but it says unknown dialing. And there it is, outbound call. Here we are, right? So I think you get the point from here. I'm gonna keep ending these calls because I don't want it to continue, but everything pops up nicely. Let's go ahead and pause this so we don't call the next person. Now going over back to our power dialer workflow, you can see every single contact is still here under manual call. That means I have to go through each of the contacts in order for them to move down this pipeline. We did two sample cold calls that I ended. And as you can see here, they are under wait five minutes. From here, it's going to see, the automation will see if we have an appointment. If we don't have a demo call scheduled with these people, then it's going to automatically follow up by checking which of the dropdowns that I picked, and then it's going to fire that workflow. Again, we already have all of this built. So if you would like to just simply import it, I do give away this entire thing to my affiliates and every single person that's inside of our community. So you can just import all of this with one click and then just simply change the messages and it's all yours. But anyways, let's uh, go ahead and keep going into the automations here that we talked about earlier. So you already went through all the effort of scraping a list and somehow finding contacts to reach out to. So you might as well just import those same contacts into a tool like this. This is called Phantom Buster and you can automatically follow up with them, right? You have the list go ahead and just start liking their stories. And then what you have is an omnipresent approach. They got your voicemail, they got your second voicemail. Maybe you texted them and they see your name in their inbox, but then they also see your name on their Instagram page. You followed them, right? You automatically sent them a message on Twitter, on Facebook, right? Maybe even on LinkedIn or whatever the platform that your clients are on you can follow up with them on multiple channels. And this makes your efforts extremely profitable and effective.